it's awesome. Hi, everybody. We're going to do story time today outside. And we have special guests here. We have Josie and Willa and Lucy and Rosie, right? Yeah. Okay. And Mommy. And Mommy. Yeah, and Grandma, right? Yeah. Awesome. Can you guys can you guys do the do you, do you know the opening song? Can you do it with me? Are you sure. Okay. Okay. All right. We make the sign for hello. <laughs> I have to get my mind going here, right? And we make the sign for friends. All right, you ready? Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to read a book. Okay. See you love zoom zoom. Oh, we'll do zoom zoom. Don't worry. Okay. Wow. Maybe Willa, you might be blocking the camera. Can you come like right yeah, over here somewhere? Oh, you out. don't. You do not have to sit down though. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Can have your baby. But... Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have names? Do you have a name? <laughs> <laughs> do you? Wow. Do we you call do? you in? <laughs> you have a name too. I have a name too. My name is Shirley, right? Mm -hmm. Well, Rosie. and your name is Rosie, right? <laughs> and and Lucy yes. and, mommy. and mommy right Who's we there? all have names right so we're gonna we're gonna read some books about names good. okay good okay good because you know sometimes names can be a, a little puppy. a little hard to pronounce or understand right and there's okay. a puppy perfect a puppy. <laughs> a puppy. you like those a puppy. do you know who the name of what the name of that a puppy, puppy is is that Clifford? A puppy. Yes, I totally it's Clifford. Knew that. A puppy. You totally knew it. Excellent. A okay. Puppy. I'm going to read this book called A Picture Book by Tao Lam. Okay. Puppy. And her name is spelled T H A O, a which a sometimes might look a like a different puppy. pronunciation. A puppy. A puppy. And this is a real story a about puppy. a woman named Tao. Does anybody want to look at the story? <laughs> Here she is when she was a little girl. A puppy, a puppy. And sometimes I'm going to hold the book up like that a so the puppy, camera can see. Mommy. Yeah, yeah, that's a puppy. Now let's be quiet. <laughs> okay, it's not easy being Tao. For some reason, it's not easy being Tao. I got hurt. I wonder why it's not easy. What's... I got hurt. You got hurt? Yeah. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. My name, her name, has the same Eight, letters as other names. Can you count how many letters are in her name? One, two, three, four. Four letters, right? Yep. Four letters. One, yep. two, three, four. That's not too long of a name. Oh, the first one is T, as in Tom. And then we have H, like Henry. And A for Amy. And O, it would be so much easier if my name were was Olivia. She, she's thinking she might rather have the name Olivia instead of Tao. Olivia? Oh, yeah, Olivia, like this one. Letters get added and scrambled and left behind when people read her name. Tao, I mean thou. <sighs> no. Tail, some people call her accidentally tail when they read her name. Where did the L come from? Toe? Not even close. Who has a name Toe when it's spelled T-H-A-O? Eventually, I learned to recognize the names people give me. Towel? <laughs> she was going to school or somewhere and people had a hard time pronouncing her name and some, some people thought it might be Towel. And so eventually she said, here, if somebody said Towel, and there were many of those. Tofu, tiny, china girl, shrimp, toot, 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 thaw, tow, the, cow, how, fail, yellow, all kinds of names. No, some of them weren't very great, right? Karen, Michael, Melissa, or John, any of those names would have been easier. So finally she said, just call me Jennifer. The next day, Jennifer got up in the morning. Jennifer brushed her teeth. Jennifer walked to school. 
Jennifer asked a zillion questions during science class, but spaced out during math. Jennifer made a mess in art class and sang off key during music lessons. For lunch, Jennifer's mom had packed. Uh oh, this is something that I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Goi Chon? I don't know how to pronounce that food, and I meant to look it up. Does anybody know? <laughs> Tao's favorite! Here she is, and she's got her very favorite food. That looks like carrots. It looks like carrots and maybe shrimp. Can you tell what else is in there? And cracker and apple. And cracker and apple. She what? loves it. The whatever. It <laughs> well, she's running away. That's okay. Well, she, she's only two, right? Mm. My name is Tao. It helps if you take out the H when you say it, but remember to put it back in when you spell it. Tao Hong Lam. There's her name. Tao. Not that kind of lamb. That's hard for you guys to know. This kind of lamb with a B on the end is a baby sheep. But a lamb with just L-A-M is how you spell her name. So one thing that you should know about with names is if you can't understand how to read or pronounce somebody's name, what should you do? Do you know? What should you do if you don't know someone's mm -hmm. name? What should you do? Mm -hmm. Ask them. Right! Ask them! Exactly! And if you still can't understand, you can just say, can you say that again? I didn't quite catch it. I want to learn how to say your name. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, just ask. That's what we can do. So this is another book about names, and it's called Your Name is a Song. Have you guys ever sung your names? No. <laughs> You've sung your name? Nice. Do you sing your name? No, I don't make so. Uh, your name is Rosie, I know. We could sing it. Rosie. <laughs> okay, here we have, it looks like, it looks like maybe she's a new girl coming to join this class. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe. Let's see what happens here. Oh. It looks like maybe, it looks like maybe she's a little what? Is she a little bit left yeah. out or maybe a little on the outside? Yeah. Not feeling part of things? Yeah. Yeah, I'm All of those things. All of those things. Okay. So, she says, when her mom picks her up, I'm not coming back ever again, the girl stomped. Please don't stop, unless we're stepping in a drill team, Mama said. Was your first day of school so bad? The girl looked down. No one could say my name. Even your teacher, Mama asked. She tried, but it got stuck in her mouth. A street musician swayed and played. Mama closed her eyes until she swayed too. Tell your teacher that your name is a song. The girl wrinkled, wrinkled her brows. I can't say that. Names aren't songs. My name is a song. Of course, that's true. <laughs> sure they are. Take the name Olumude. Oh, sorry, Olumade. Olumade is a melody, girl, and so is Kotona. <laughs> these are hard. These are hard for Miss Shirley to pronounce, but they give little um, pronunciations by the names. Plus, I practiced ahead of time, but I don't always get them right either. But I'm trying. The girl whispered names. Tap to tap went her feet. She starts tapping her feet. Mam Mamudu. Mamadu is how you say that one, sorry. Mamadu is a beat. Mamadu, Mamadu. Tandawetu stretches out like a love song. Yes, girl, names are songs. Sing your name. Your teacher will learn to sing it too. The girl did a jig as they walked on, but then her feet slowed. 
Umi, she called to her mama. During snacks, some girls pretended to choke on my name. That wasn't very nice, was it? At the red light, a car boomed hip hop beside them. The, ba the bass pounded from their heads to their toes, even in their chest. Pat, pat, pat. Mama patted her chest. Is that your mama over there? Do you see somebody you know? Tell those girls some names must be said from here, not the throat. Names come from your heart, a girl asked. Say the name Ha from here. Can you guys say that? Ha. Ha. Here. You got to go deeper to say Alam. Alam. You say Alam. Alam. Yes, exactly. Some names you say from deep in the chest. As they crossed, the girl touched her chest. Kwana. Can you say that one? Kwana is here. Ngozi goes deeper. Ngozi. Can you say that one from your tummy? Ngozi comes from poke, can you do it? poke me in the stomach. Yes, girl, from your heart. Say your name. Those girls will learn to use their hearts too. The girl bopped to the beat as they walked on. In art, one boy's eyes got all wide when I said my name. My name is my name scary. We don't know her name yet, do we? Oh, I forgot to say the author's name when I, before I read it. Wires sparked above a streetcar, and Mama and the girl jumped back, startled. Mama put a calming hand on the girl's shoulder. Tell that boy some names have. You can put fire in a name? <laughs> fire tire. <laughs> fire tire? You made a rhyme. Yeah, I totally <clears throat> Kwe Kweku storms in on a Wednesday. <laughs> and fire dances in Sagnika, Mama said. Names are that strong? The girl no. asked. Ziomara bites a battle in your mouth. Tongues bow to say. This one's hard for me. I practiced it. Bill, Bill kiss. Julong lunges like a dragon and Udam. Oh, Udam. Udam. Yeah, can you say that one? Udam is magnificent. The girl's lips trembled. Yes, girl, just like you. On her toes, they. The girl rose and kicked as they walked on. What about the kids at recess who said my name sounds made up? Mama pointed up. Tell them that made up names come from there. From the sky, the girl asked. Made up names come from dreamers. Their real names were stolen long ago, so they dream up new ones. They make a way out of no way, make names out of no names, pull them from the sky. The girl reached up to pull some names too. Tajay, Tajay, and Trayvon. They sit on clouds with Julante. Can you see the names in the clouds? No, she's, she's no. making them a string. Yeah, she's making them a string. You're right. Yeah. Mama, Mama nodded, and Laquan no. and Lamika are the twinkle in, the, in stars, the no. glimmer in minds that think and tinker. We're about to we're about to go do zoom zoom. You want to do that soon? Are these names new songs? The girl asked. Yes, girl. Tell everybody to learn new songs too. The girl twirled and leapt to the sky, and they walked on. The next day, the girl didn't want to go to school, but she had songs to teach. Line up, Ms. Anderson hollered. Line up. The girl looked to the sky. She saw dreams and fire there. Ms. Anderson hollered names. Benjamin! Tap, tap went the girl's feet. Here. Siobhan! Tap, tap. Here. Olivia! Tap, tap, tap. Here. The girl stopped tapping. Her name was getting stuck in Ms. Anderson's mouth again. Hmm. The girl sang. The whole class stared. What are you doing, Ms. Anderson asked. I'm singing my name so you'll learn it. Names are not songs, Ms. Anderson huffed. 
Ms. Anderson, the girl, sang the girl. Ms. Anderson frowned. Your name is a pretty song, said the girl. You guys, can, can you sing that? Ms. Anderson. <laughs> Ms. Anderson's frown slowly turned into a smile. Why, thank you. What about me, Bob? Asked, what's my song? The girl belted out, Bob. <laughs> Other kids asked for songs too. She sang and sang their names. Ms. Anderson said, could we hear your song again? The girl sang her name. The teacher sang it back. One kid sang it, then another and another one. Everyone sang her name. Cora di Jalimuso. Cora di Jalimuso. It was music to her ears. The end. So we can, we, sometimes we make mistakes when we pronounce people's names, but we just can ask until we get it right, Is right? It zoom, zoom, time it. Yeah, should we do Zoom, Zoom? Rosie! Time for Zoom, Zoom! You want to do Zoom, Zoom, Rosie? I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys ready for Zoom, Zoom? And then we'll do one more story. Oh, and maybe we'll sing another song. Oh, and I have some art. Okay, good. Put your hands together. You ready? Okay. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Put your arm up if you want to take a trip. Climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Count down. Five. Four, three, two, one, blow! I saw that. You too. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it one more time? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Yeah. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you guys know the song Willoughby Wallaby Woo? No. Yeah. Elephant sat on you? Yet. And then you and then you say like you go Willoughby Willoughby Wallaby Woo an Ooh. elephant sat on you yeah. and then you say Willoughby Wallaby Whirly an elephant sat on Shirley and then you do Willoughby Wallaby Woosy an elephant let, sat on Lucy can you guys sing with me I we'll do that. Rosie next Willoughby Wallaby Wozy an elephant sat on Rosie now, now let's do Josie. Willoughby, Wallaby, Wozy. Oh, it sounds just like <laughs> Rosie. An elephant sat on Josie. Willa, Willoughby, Wallaby, Willa. <laughs> An elephant sat on Willa. How perfect. <laughs> we can do mommy now. Willoughby, Wallaby, Wami. An elephant sat on mommy. And how about grandma? Willoughby, Wallaby, Whamma. <laughs> and how she got her name by Juana Martinez Neal. Have you guys read this one before? I think I read no. it last. I've never heard any of this book. Okay. This is, this is her name. This is how long it is. 
Alma, Sophia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Cande Candela had a long name. Alma, Sophia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Candela had a long name. That is a long name. Too long if you ask her. Look how, look how, when she tries to write it. Yeah. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. So there's, the, there's Sophia, the grandma, her grandmother. So that's her first name, and then the next one. She says, I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. <laughs> Sometimes machines make loud noises, don't they? The world yeah. is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. Yeah. Jose was my father, almost Daddy said. He was an artist with a big family like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. Oh, I like the magic. Why not? What, what, what's, what, what's on that picture that you don't like? The big man. Oh, the big man is a little scary? Okay. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too, Dad. Too. This morning I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. She's, she's learning the origin of all her different names. Hula was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist. They charm to keep you safe. So many names. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. Like she's being an activist. What is that? That means somebody who tries to, to make change to help people. I am Candela, she says. I love the story of my name. Now, tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma, Sophia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Pura, Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. <laughs> okay, I think, okay, I think that maybe we should sing the, the goodbye song. What do you think? And then we can go play. And then playtime. What do you think about that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys help me sing the goodbye song. In fact, in fact, you guys could turn around and wave to the camera while we, um, and that way you'll be a part of story time. If you want to, see it's right there on that phone. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Goodbye, Bye. friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.